the phrase lone wolf appears frequently in today's popular culture. What, though, is the origin of the term lone wolf? To what end does this serve? Wolves are pack animals that rely on each other for survival, but not every wolf spends its entire life with the same pack. This, however, is not to say that they prefer to be alone. Most young adults who leave the pack which they were born in order to found their own. To put it simply, that's a substantial variation. When a lone wolf wanders off, it isn't because it wants to be alone, but rather because it wants to establish its own territory, breed, and form a pack. The proper term for such lone wolves is dispersers. They help maintain the genetic diversity of the wolf population by having offspring with members of different packs. Additionally, they relocate wolf packs to new territories. They have the opportunity to start over in a fresh area when they leave their current territory in search of a mate in a new home. It could be hundreds of miles before they reach their destination. However, more lone wolves can be found in Europe due to the smaller size of the prey. The wolf pack structure is crucial for obtaining sufficient nutrition. Finding large game like moose requires a large number of wolves. We all know that wolf packs have a strict hierarchical structure. Wolves demonstrate their submissiveness to higher ranking wolves by crouching when the latter approach. Except when there's a lot of food available, only alpha males and females will mate. Even at dinner, there is a strict hierarchy. The alphas get the best cuts of meat or organs, while the omegas have to wait until everyone else has finished eating before they can scavenge for scraps. For a wolf, leaving the pack means giving up the support of the other members. Due to their strong sense of territory, solitary wolves should exercise caution when venturing near packs. Sometimes it takes a lone wolf hundreds of miles to find a reliable source of nourishment. Another option is for a wolf to float between the boundaries of different packs' territories, checking set markings to make sure it is safe. Due to the risk of alerting potential predators to its whereabouts, a lone wolf is careful to limit its howling. Wolves will howl to signal their location if they become separated from the pack. Moving away doesn't necessarily mean you'll be living alone. It is possible for a young lone wolf to invade the territory of an established pack in an attempt to depose a weak alpha. Except in cases where there is an abundance of food, only the alpha male and female can breed. Accordingly, the hormonal shifts that occur during mating season may provide an opportunity to break away from the herd. If a lower-ranking wolf detects the scent of a mate-ready wolf from another pack, it may travel to meet up with it. Lone wolves contribute to the evolution of the wolf population in this way. The wolf population in Sweden, which had been declining, was revived when a lone wolf from Finland crossed into the country, gave birth, and raised a litter. After years of isolation, the final pack of Swedish wolves had begun mating, but the introduction of a wolf from Finland threw off their genetics. It sparked a new period of expansion for the pack. Nonetheless, just because a wolf leaves its den doesn't mean it can't return. A lone wolf may return to its original pack if it is unable to survive on its own.